Hey hello everybody and thanks for joining us for another Whitfield's recipe video. I say I said that weird. It's a it's a recipe video. Hmm. I'm leaving it in. Today we are making kind of a from scratch. We just she kind of thought of it and then Weirdly enough, it seems to be a trend right now. S'more trend. And I swear this was something we had on our little board. Look, you can see I I wiped it out because we're doing it today. It's not just a waffle with s'more stuff in it. It's a graham cracker waffle. Want to know how to make yourself a graham cracker waffle with s'mores fillings? Stay tuned. What you need. Two giant Hershey's chocolate bars. Actually, we don't know if you need two, but when in doubt, buy two. Jet Puff s'mores. S'more mallows. There you go. They got chocolate in the middle, apparently. Graham crackers. Great value. Cream waffle Belgian mix. Hershey syrup. There you go. It's the genuine chocolate flavor. The flavor is genuine, but the chocolate ain't real. Buttered spray. Guess what brand it is. Did you say great value? Vegetable oil. Oh, oh, gonna throw you for a loop with this one. Win Dixie. One little bit of egg. Take your graham crackers, break them up and you're gonna need to make this into a fine powder. We're gonna use our little magic bullet, but you don't have to. You can do it the way we used to do, which was put it in the bag and smash it with a hammer. Sit on it many times over, doesn't matter. You need it to be a powder. Hey. Hey. The Belgian waffle maker. I kind of think you need this for this. Unless you want to make a pancake, then you can use a pancake. Look at, you can see our little chandelier. You, that's that's our um, air vent. Not ready. Ready. We have ours on this much heat. Yes. Spritz, spritz goes Frank Fritz. Mm -mm. Yep, that's my thing. Smells good. Get that batter in there. Close. It. Set it and forget it. After about, I don't know, like, I was, like a minute. Let's check on it. Look how pretty. And if Frank Fritz did his job on that spritz spritz, it all should come out in one piece. Boom. You need to do this all over again. Make another one. Fritz, Fritz, Frank, Fritz. Boom, 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 two minutes, boom. Put your brother on low. When it looks like that, take it out, put them on the bottom rack, and leave it here for about 30 seconds.
And we are back, folks. That is how you make your genuine bona fide Whitfields food review. Original, we think. Uh -huh. And just that makes it really good is that this has graham cracker in it. So it's not just like, oh, we put chocolate and marshmallow in the middle of two waffles. This is graham cracker. And it tastes like it. As I always say, proofs of the pudding, even though this pudding looks real good, and in this case, pudding is a s'mores waffle. If it tastes as good as it looks, we're in business. I don't know how the hell to eat this. Just eat it like a big old piece of pie. So I'm gonna take a bite like this and make a mess of myself and she's gonna cut it like a lady. Mmm. This is so important. Oh my god. There's a lot going on there, man. <laughs> Clean as a whistle. Oh my god. That is so rich. It's so good. It tastes like a damn s'more. Mm -hmm. You got braces. This is the s'mores for you because you can't eat the regular s'more because it's too crunchy. But the softness of that Belgian waffle, which is crazy because we put almost a full cup of the crunched up graham crackers. You'd think it would make it kind of mealy. Not at all. It's super soft. Mm, light and fluffy. And then, of course, there's like a good two, three just solid inches of marshmallow and chocolate goodness. And then that Hershey's on top actually has a lot too. Because mm -hmm. the waffles, you know how it is. You gotta put a bunch of syrup, you gotta put your butter, but you gotta put a bunch of syrup, you gotta put a bunch of butter, or else it gets a little dry. Even with all this going on, it could get dry. So Nice some whipped cream. Woo! That'd be good on there. You can yeah, you can put whipped cream and chocolate chips on top. I mean Ice you could, like literally you could just do whatever the hell you want with it with this. Yeah. But there you go, folks. That's a solid foundation upon which to build your own s'mores waffle thing. That was really good up to that point. <laughs> so that concludes our s'mores waffle recipe. So please like, favorite, comment. Comment below. Let us know what you'd like to see us make. We're going to do copycat recipes and we also do DIY kind of things like that. Like the pizza roll and other, other things on top of, of course, fast food copycat and our normal reviews. So, but please do try to follow us. If um, YouTube's doing its goofy thing that it normally does, no one's getting notifications. So please do follow us on either Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, Snapchat. One? I don't know. Is there another one? I feel like whatever's down here, if whatever one is your favorite, please follow us on there because I, I notify all those when we have new video out. That way you guys can keep abreasted. You just want to say breasted. You guys can say a boobed. All the things that Whitfield's Food Review are doing. Um, so thank you all so much for watching. Really appreciate it. We love y'all. And as always. <laughs>